Welcome back, Paris. I'm Jose. And I'm James. And these are your announcements for February 23rd. The next Principal Advisory Board meeting will be held during fourth period on Tuesday, February 28th for freshmen and sophomores and fifth period for juniors and seniors. It will take place in the Principal's Conference Room. Attention students and staff, Latte Suite is back in a new location starting on Friday, February 24th. Stop by before school for delicious treats Friday morning between 7.15 and 8 a.m. in our Media Center Cafe. The CTT prize for the month of February is the Fandango gift card. Simply submit your red tickets to the lockers for a chance to win. Going along with our monthly theme of healthy relationships, let's take a look at a quick short about proper behavior in the hallways among relationships. What's up Pirates, it's me again, Jay Hayes. Valentine's Day has just come to a close and love is still in the air around the PHS hallways. Because I want to get a good grade in this class, I'm going to talk to you about proper behavior with a friend or significant other in the Palatine hallways. For the homeroom committee, February is all about having healthy relationships. The key component to a healthy relationship is respect. Unfortunately, there are times in the hallways where respect for others is not being shown. The lunchroom is a place where we are supposed to enjoy our meal. It is a little hard to digest the food we have when the couple at the table next to us is too busy eating each other's faces instead of their lunch in front of them. The hallways of Palatine are a very public place. Anyone walking down the hallway can see what you are doing. So it is important to act and speak appropriately in the hallways with your friend or significant other. It's okay to walk with your friend or significant other as long as you are on time to class. It's very cute that you two appreciate each other's time, but you should be able to survive the 48 minute break. I understand it's a big school, but if your partner honestly needs help, being escorted from class to class after over a week or two into the semester start, you should maybe consider seeing someone else. The kiss and fly rule is probably something we all know about at this point, but not enough people follow it. That's as far as I'm going to go with this topic. I'm not getting paid enough for this. Lastly, school is not the proper place to settle any issues you have with your friend or significant other. If you're a man of choice for liking Bethany's Instagram, school is not the best place to settle this kind of argument, especially in the hallways. This should be a private conversation. Dancing with the Pirate will take place on Thursday, February 23rd at 7 p.m. in the main room. The cost of the ticket is five bucks. FCA will be having a food drive next week from February 27th to March 3rd. The drive will be directly benefiting Blessings in a Backpack program beginning in our school. The goal of this program is to provide food for the weekends for 50 students at our school. We encourage all homerooms to bring cans and non-perishable foods like pastas and granola bars. The top homerooms in each grade will be given an opportunity to pie participating teachers and staff members in the face. For any further questions, email Mr. Olson in the Special Ed Department. Our PTV investigative team went to the new media center to check out what the new cafe area is all about before it opens. Let's take a look. Hey guys, Nick here with PTV Investigators. Here at the new PHS Cafe. As you can see, it's uh, not quite done yet, but it should be soon. And uh, let's go check it out. Um, originally, when they started uh, redoing all the media centers in the district, they started out really small, just putting vending machines in them. And then with the, you know, Starbucks, you know, everyone coming in with their drinks. Uh, the district thought, well, maybe we could expand on that ourselves. So, um, one of the other high schools brought in coffee and they started bringing up other items from the cafeteria. So it was a success at other buildings. So now that we were the last, you know, one of the last to get done here now, um, they thought, make it, make it a little bigger, make it a little more like a Starbucks, so it's a coffee shop. So we'll be, you know, implementing the same kind of ideas. We'll have iced coffees, hot coffees, iced teas, um, hot uh, 
loose leaf, leaf uh, loose leaf teas, and then we'll be also bringing up from the cafeteria our popular items. You know, our bistro boxes, our peanut butter and jelly bistro box, our yogurt fruit parfaits, our cold sandwiches. Everything that's it's going to be packaged, so it's grab and go. So there's no handling of food. Um, it'll all be packaged. So. Uh, right now we're just going to be open for the lunch periods, uh, so you know third through sixth. Plan on opening at 10:10, running till 1:30. Uh, um, once we see that that's the success, and then uh, Mr. Steiger wants us to do um, breakfast also up here. Um, they'll be operating out of here on Fridays. Uh, they'll do their nine fundraisers. Um, but no, we're separate, totally separate. Um, I believe so. Um, you know, I've been here a lot of years and uh, to see all the students walking in with their, you know, coffees and their lattes and, you know, trying to bring it to them so they don't need to make that extra stop in the morning. So yes, I think it will be a big success. Boy Lacrosse trial will take place starting next Monday, February 27 in the East Gym. Mm -hmm. Freshmen and sophomores trial will be 7.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. Juniors and seniors will try out from 8.15 to 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. And girls lacrosse preseason meeting is today! Mm -hmm. At Victoria Room 270. For about 50 minutes, if you are interested in playing lacrosse but cannot attend the meeting, please see your coach. Uh, check for uh, Coach Flores in the Social Studies Office. Palatine's Promise and Students Against Destructive Decisions will be hosting a health and safety fair during all lunch periods on Friday, March 3rd. Every booth you stop at, you will be given a raffle ticket that can be submitted to win prizes. Equality Club will meet this Friday at 7.30 a.m. in room 271. All are welcome. Girls Badminton tryouts will begin on Monday, February 27, and Tuesday, February 28, in the gym from 2.30 to 5.45 p.m. <laughs> if you have questions, please see Coach West in um, Transition Service. Now, let's head on over to Danny for our current events. Thanks, Jose. Were you disappointed when NASA announced that Pluto will no longer be the ninth planet in our solar system? Well, worry no longer. NASA believes that there is an actual ninth planet and they want your help finding it. CNN reports, the Zooniverse Space Project site has launched a NASA-funded venture, Backward, Backyard Worlds Planet 9, which, let, which lets anyone participate in the search for the not-yet-discovered planet. For those wondering how it works, NASA has compiled a flipbook of short animations that show sky scans taken over several years. Participants can search for disruptions in the images, which are basically clusters of tiny colored dots, and mark their findings. The goal is to pinpoint real moving celestial objects. Users can then share and discuss their subjects in an online bulletin board. I hope to be able to report on a finding made by a Palatine student. Now before we head over to Jake for sports, here's a quick video about Dancing with the Pirates. Thanks, Danny. In sports today, girls track and field has a meet at Wheaton Warrenville South, and girls basketball has their regional game at Libertyville.
That's it for today, Pirates. I'm Jay Kays, and I would like to thank you for watching PTV. Peace out, Pirates.